Hi there, I'm Anna with BSAC and I'm here talking with Chris Sparadeo and he's going to tell us a little bit more about his work. So Chris, I'll have you start. Can you tell us what do you do for work? Hey there, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Chris Sparadeo. I am the off-grid specialist at Catamount Solar. Um, so I sell, design and uh, service off-grid battery-based solar uh, systems in the state of Vermont and New Hampshire. So um, my job really entails um, coming up with good solutions for people who are living off-grid so that don't have access um, to the utility, the electrical utility, um, maybe for own personal choices or they just live too isolated. Um, and so essentially, um, making sure that we can size the system to meet their electrical needs and live a normal life um, without access to uh, you know that utility. So I grew up in uh, Randolph, Vermont. I went to school um, at Randolph Union High School and then took um, my senior year of, of high school. Actually, there was a great program in town um, at the local uh, VTC college. It's called the VAST program. Um, so I essentially got um, you know, college credit for my senior year. So after kind of taking a, a hybrid, you know, a senior year and, and first year of college, I then transferred all of those credits um, to a college out in San Francisco. So I went to the Univer University of San Francisco um, and I studied, studied environmental studies. Um, so I got a pretty good basic um, education in, you know, environmental issues, possible, um, you know, solutions and, and options for combating larger things like climate change and, you know, um, rural access to electrification, that kind of stuff. Um, so after uh, college, I actually got hooked up with an NGO based out of Nicaragua um, called Blue Energy. So I, I went down and worked for um, Blue Energy for about five years in rural Nicaragua doing, um, yeah, rural electrification um, and water and sanitation projects in really isolated communities. Um, and then, you know, after having done that, moved back to, uh, to Vermont after kind of, you know, getting married and having a kid realized, wow, you know, Vermont's actually a great place to raise a kid and, and settle down. So, um, moved back here and that's where I, I met Catamount Solar, um, which is a member owned, uh, worker owned cooperative. Uh, they're based out of Randolph as well. And um, they specialize in off-grid solar. So it just made perfect sense to kind of work for a, a local company that, uh, you know, is interested in and does this, the same kind of stuff that I had a, a pretty good background in. That's so cool. What a great, what a great pathway to get there. Um, what is one of your favorite things about your work? Um, it's definitely the satisfaction I see um, from having our clients just like really happy with the fact that they now have power, you know, a lot of situations, both in Nicaragua and here in Vermont. Um, well, in general, power is important. It's a really important part of your life to make sure that you can, let's say, have running water or, you know, a hot shower or can read when, when the you know, sun goes down. Um, so access to power kind of enables you to have access to um, a lot more things. Um, so definitely seeing people excited about something as simple as maybe just turning on the light or being able to use a toaster, you know, um, it, pretty cool. That's great. Um, what are some of the things that you find most challenging about your work? Um, so one thing, for example, that's, that's pretty challenging is because uh, in a lot of scenarios, we act as the utility. Um, so if, you know, it, it's, doesn't always happen, but let's say there's an issue um, with a component um, or a lightning strike or the, you know, somebody's off-grid system's down, um, that's kind of a lifeline of theirs. So we um, have to respond very quickly um, to make sure that we can get them power, you know, back up as quickly as possible. So that's something that, um, you know, we don't take lightly, take seriously, but, you know, lying in bed sometimes on a Thursday night, um, you think the day's over and it, it may not be. <laughs> Um, and that kind of leads into my next question. Can you walk us through what a typical day might look like for you? Yeah, sure. Um, so typically start the day off um, at the shop around seven o'clock in the morning. Um, depending on what's going on that day, either I'm doing like a site evaluation to, to qualify um, a site to see, you know, um, layout configuration and then um, to calculate um, loads to, to then calculate uh, system size. Um, 
if that's done and you know we've kind of gone through the the sales process and it's installation day then we're we're getting trucks filled um with with proper components getting uh you know solar uh array layout size to make sure we have the correct fasteners and, and uh, rails to, to go up on the roof. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts. Um, and we have a lot of uh, great, you know, electricians and installers that we work with to help the process be a lot easier. Thanks. Um, what do you think makes someone a good fit for this kind of work? Um, so personally, I, it sounds funny, but hate working in the office. I like have to be outside. I have to be working with my hands. I, I can work on the computer and I, you know, I like doing so um, a little bit, but it's not something I could do all day long. Um, um, another good fit would be somebody who's like not scared of heights. You know, I'm up on ladders all day long on roofs, obviously with, you know, harnesses and safety equipment, but you have to be a little bit daring and uh, to want to learn new things. There's a lot of new components and new technology that's coming out on the market. Um, and you just have to want to keep learning, continual learning is like a really important part of the, the job. That's great. Um, and then if a student's interested in this, you talked a little bit about it with the VAST program, but are there other things that they could do now, like classes or volunteer work or something, you know, tinkering at home or anything like that, that would set them up for doing this down the road? Yeah, totally. So um, there are electrical apprenticeship programs in Vermont. Um, you can either take those separately or you can be sponsored by um, an employer. So if you started working for an electrical contracting company or even a solar company, let's say, you could then uh, you know, take a, an electrical apprenticeship and then afterwards become a licensed uh, electrician. Um, as well, there are online courses, some free, some at cost. Um, so Heat Springs is a great resource. Um, who are a few others. So NABCEP, which is, so it's N-A-B-C-E-P, North American Board of uh, Certified Energy Practitioners. Um, they offer a certification for uh, design, installation, uh, system and inspection, uh, but they are kind of um, the authority when it comes to um, kind of solar credentials. So they have a lot on the, their website as well, a lot of good um, training resources, some, you know, like at your own speed online and some kind of in-person training, um, you know, to point you in the right direction. That's great. Um, and I think that that kind of answered my next question, which was what kind of education or training might they be thinking about down the road to help with this? Is there anything else you would add there? Is that kind of cover it? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends. So, uh, Another one, for example, Solar Energy International, SEI, they have some great online courses, but they also have a few satellite offices in um, Colorado and for those more adventurous in Costa Rica. Um, and if you learn, you know, by visualizing things and reading stuff, maybe the online course is great. Or if you, you know, need to get your hands dirty or on, you know, twisting wrenches, then, then maybe the, the in-person, you know, at-site uh, training is best for you. Um, but there's definitely ways to learn about solar, off-grid solar um, in the state. Um, you know, there's a, a few installers um, and companies that do off-grid solar. And if you're interested, you know, contact my company, another company, and, and we can definitely get you, um, you know, in the right, uh, you know, on the right path to becoming, you know, a solar installer, at least learning more about, um, you know, off-grid solar. That's awesome. Thanks. Um, anything else you would want to share with students? Um, yeah, just the fact that um, in general, you know, education is really important and it comes in lots of shapes and forms. Sometimes it does make sense to like go to college um, and, you know, sometimes it, it makes sense to like, like me, for example, I, I did go to school, but I also did a lot of learning after school. So education isn't uh, this really neat little, you know, box that you fit yourself into. I think um, college is a great way to like find out what you do and don't like. Um, but another great way is, is just a personal experience. Try a job out. If you don't like the job, great. Like, although it was maybe a, a crappy experience, at least you now know that you don't like it, or maybe there was one part of that job that you do like. So testing things out, um, not taking no for an answer and just kind of keeping in mind that like, you're going to have to keep learning your entire life if uh, you want to be like satisfied and happy with what you do. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Definitely.